We are pinpointing some light rain after a little bit of moderate rain pushed through over the past half hour. We'll see more of these showers building in from the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, back along the west coast, more of the rain is heavy and then it moves on land and it begins to weaken. That has been the trend that will be the trend for a little while. And then we'll see more of those stronger storms this afternoon once we heat up this unstable atmosphere. So plenty of humid air in place across central Florida setting the stage for some of those storms as we have an unstable setup. There's Port Canaveral in Brevard County. 76 is the temperature. Look at that southerly component to the wind. A light wind out of the west southwest will bring in more of that warm, humid air. We are pinpointing the tropics. We've got two lows. One low will eventually in the next five days move closer to Puerto Rico. We've got to watch that, but it still has a fairly low chance of development over the next five days, a 30% chance. I need to raise this box so that you can see what I'm talking about. I will do that next time. The other wave off the coast. I mean, look, the bar just covers it. It's my fault. The uh, other wave off the coast of Africa, really close to the lesser, the, um, the uh, Cabo Verde Islands, has a 20% chance of development within the next five days. We're in the mid-70s for most of central Florida right now, 75 in Orlando, 73 in Ocala, Daytona Beach at 74. Here's a look at the Pinpoint Accurate Forecast. Your forecast is sponsored by Del Air Heating, Air Conditioning, Plumbing, and Electrical. And into the next 12 hours, 92 will be the high temperature. But before that, we're in the mid-80s by 11 o'clock, 85 at that point. Rain chance is going all the way up to 80% by 3 o'clock at the bus stop with a high of 92, which is only 2 degrees above the average of 90. So here's the rain with the clouds and rain forecast into the future. Even over the next couple of hours, we'll see a few showers building into western sides of Marion and Sumter counties. But on through 1 o'clock this afternoon, afternoon, it will get a little heavier and then we see it approaching I-4. There's three o'clock bus stop time, seeing more heavy rain, even the chance for some stronger storms along I-4 and then eventually pushing to the coast, our east coast by 5 p.m. You see heavy rain for Volusia and for Bar Brevard counties, and that will stretch back into Seminole and Orange counties before we see most of it in Brevard by 8, 9 o'clock tonight. Highs today in the low 90s inland, right around 90 along the coast. Here is the seven day forecast. As we get results, you'll see those rain chances high at 80% today and tomorrow, then 70% the rest of the week into the weekend. But highs close to the average. Look, the 80s by Sunday, upper 80s.